And now, live from the studios of Freedoms Phoenix, Ernest Hancock. Him. He has just a few minutes before he's got to go to class or whatever. You know, go ahead. You know, uh, Mario, tell me all about Gino and your relationship with him and who this kid is. Well, Gino's a kid who's local here to Phoenix. Um, his family, they live right here in PV. He was a Paradise Valley. A, Paradise Valley. He was a student over at Chaparral. They had some issues there, but their family ended up having to transfer out of that area um, to Desert Mountain High School. Now, Gino, by his stature, was would someone would say is a little guy he's a little point guard but at the same time on the inside what you cannot see is this kid is a fierce competitor okay a little what do you mean five six i mean what are we looking at here we're looking at about six feet tall that's where he's at but in the world of basketball that's considered short but if you look at the dynamics of how a person plays that's what you need to look at that's what coaches are looking for. yeah looking for kevin johnson man <laughs> hey you wasn't that tall <laughs> they're looking they're looking for the kjs and gino little fits that bill He's the kind of kid that's out there. He did well academically. He's well loved in his community. This is a kid on the go. So uh, I know that get I get up on G- the mic. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. I got Gino here, and uh, I'm glad that he had an opportunity to call in to talk a bit about his story. Hey, Gino, man, we're, we're interested in hearing all about how you take advantage of uh, Super Mario's, I guess, tutelage, uh, promotion, help. I mean, you know, tell us about the program and what you've been doing. Uh, along the lines of my clothing company, correct? Well, yeah, I mean, this whole, you know, you get an opportunity to have yourself recognized, your character is emphasized, and it bleeds into all other aspects of your life. And I know one of the things that you've done, you've gone to your school and you started a clothing line, but it comes with, you know, your reputation and your name, and people want to be cool like you at school, you know? So I'm, you know, let's go ahead and just talk about, you know, the character building of this, and then the opportunity that you turned it into into a clothing line. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Mario helped me out a lot throughout the years. Get up right on the microphone. I can hardly hear you, man. Uh, can you hear me now? There you go. Um, yeah, Mario helped me a lot throughout the years. He he taught me a lot, but he also he helped me with this website called GinoLittles.com, and that really helped me build a lot of my uh, curricular. And I mean, a lot of coaches, not even on the basketball realm, but a lot of coaches would look at it uh, when I was trying to get recruited to play basketball in college, but he also helped me being able to learn how to build a website, and that's how I started my clothing company. And my clothing company, it's called Constitutional Clothing, and it kind of just it kind of just wants uh, people to be a part of the next revolution. We always say, stand strong and for what you believe in. And our clothing company, it's not just me, though. I can't take all the credit. It's it's me and uh, two other partners, Kyle, Kyle Bronson and, and Ryan Bowman. And... Uh, and we just wanted to have a new innovation of clothing, and we wanted our statement to be pretty powerful. We, around uh, two, three years ago, we all had the same aspect of starting our clothing company, and we wanted to get serious. And we had to have Mario's help. He, he does all of our website uh, designing. He uh, does all of our promotions. And he does uh, our press releases. And we just really needed that help on the aspect of Mario. But we're just three teens who have this very, uh, this very accurate uh, vision and starting a clothing company, and right now we're on the right track 100%. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at you know, some of the designs here. Constitutional clothing, constitution, con- you mean like the U.S. Constitution? Yeah, constitutional clothing, but how it, how originally... How do teenagers with- even know about con- Where'd you learn about constitution? Where'd that happen? <laughs> I mean, we learned about it in high school, but how it, ori- how it originally started is, is we, were, we were just all on our uh, computers at home just... Hang you got to keep the mic up on your mouth. You're fading in and out. I'm not sure what you're using, but hold it up to your mouth, okay? Okay, yes, sir. Um, what happened was we just we all we all were just playing around on our laptops at home, just hanging out, and we just started making up names of a clothing company. And this one stuck. It really stuck. Constitutional clothing. So we tried to see what people thought about, it, and people said the name kind of kind of clicked. So we went with the name. And if you look at our website, uh, www.ccrkg.com. Every single shirt has a meaning behind it. So we're not, we're not a company who just is putting 
product out there for no reason. There's always a meaning behind each each shirt. Okay, now go ahead and you know, in sublight speed, give out your website website so people know what it was. What? <laughs> oh, our website is www.ccrkg.com. Ccrkg.com. So, yes, constitutional clothing RKG stands for what? Ryan Kyle Gino, our three owners. All right, CCRKG dot com and then how's it going i mean what what you know prompted i mean see that's one thing that we're going to be talking about after you have to go is that to have the confidence to do this to have the popularity that people cared that you did it to have the coolness for them to actually buy it to do that i mean this is all character building from a young age to put you in the position to even have the ability hell even know who to call to even ask for help to do this and and i'm just i'm i'm, I'm really impressed with you you're building a life not just around athletics but you took advantage of, did you get to go on the scholarship are you in university now yeah, uh, right now I play at uh, University of Texas San Antonio, and I was a walk-on last year who uh, came in, and I, I couldn't thank Mario enough for helping me get to this school, but uh, I came in as a walk-on, and I just worked hard. Uh, that's all I've known my whole life, and I started 20, 25 games last year, and now I'm on a full scholarship, so I, I can't thank it. I can't. I'm in an amazing situation, and it's, like, unreal. So you're on a full scholarship. You have some close yes, friends. And we go, hey, man, we can do it. Constitutional clothing. We're going to get, what's the message behind some of uh, the – see, this is the impact that someone like you, we build up someone to have this confidence and this philosophy. You go to school, you're a uh, scholarship individual as a walk-on. You know, that, that's like mm-hmm. a success story right there. And I know you yes, want sir. to give your, your friends credit and make sure that they, you know, don't – Hey, you're, you're smart to do that because they're like, hey, man, what about the clothing company? You know about us. So, yeah, you know, so, exactly. So I understand. I understand. But I tell you, you know, to have it's someone that's going to have to take the lead on this and be of the character and have the contacts to be successful in something like this. And then you not be a butthead. So nobody will buy your stuff. They go, hey, exactly. you know, he's not a butthead. Let's go ahead and buy his stuff. We won't be cool like him. And part yeah. of that cool constitution. How the hell did that happen? I mean, you know, what are you emphasizing in some of these? You're saying what? The Constitution better than what? No, I mean, I think the message we're trying to get across is Constitution Clothing RKG is a movement that inspires people to desire to be free. So free to choose what you want to wear, free to choose your gear, free to choose, you know, how the Constitution is. It's all getting back to the basics of it, and you know, it, uh, about freedom. That's basically our message we're trying to get across. And yes, it is. I mean, being a Division One basketball player, and it's not only me. One of one of our partner, uh, one of our partners, Kyle. He goes to the University of Alabama, and our other partner goes to uh, Scottsdale Community College, right in Arizona. So it is hard to balance all all the all of us because we're not in the same state. So we can't have group meetings, but we try to FaceTime and get on Skype every week to try to discuss things to make our company grow and grow. This is a you know, I I don't know. Do you see the potential for the impact of young men such as yourself doing this with the support of your family and Super Mario and all this kind of you know? Because he was telling me when we were at a party, we we're talking. You know, it's constitutional clothing. I'm like, since when the heck does the college people kind of think it's cool to have constitutional line of clothes? Where would that come from? How the hell did that yeah. happen? That you would even yeah. think it was cool? So I'm going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really good. Um, right now, we also have a 20% sale uh, for summer because we're trying to come out with our winter line here uh, at the end of November. But for young teens, I definitely encourage them. If they have a dream of making a clothing company, you definitely go out and get it. You need support, though. My, my family and Super Mario definitely believed in this, and I came to them with the idea, and they, they were all in for it. So as a as a young teen reaching out to people, I would say, if you have a dream, you go for it. And if you have the support behind you, then anything's possible. Work hard. Be, you know, a, 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 you know, a nice kid. You know, have be of help. Be an ad to society, to your team, to your family, to your community. Be an ad, not a subtraction. Well, what do we have? Yep, yep. We got a young man here doing that very, very thing. Gino Littles. G I N O Littles dot com. And you go get you go get some constitutional clothing from these kids out there being co at CCRKG dot com. This is Donna Hancock with Silver Alliance Realty in Phoenix, Arizona, and I spent There you go. 
You know, awesome. Thank you very much, man. We, you know, hopefully we'll be talking about you. Use the example for the rest of the show. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you for your time. You bet. Peace.